I am absolutely thrilled to finally have figured out how to record the automation of my complete control using my complete control keyboard with my complete control, my native instrument plugins in Pro Tools uh, and also third party plugins. Um, this has been really frustrating for years for me, so I thought I'd post a video. So I'm going to create just two um, stereo instrument tracks. Um, bam. There we go. Oh, I just created one. Okay, let's just start with one then. Uh, and then I'm going to go instrument. I'm going to go complete control. And I'm going to choose something like uh, analog dreams, uh, some patch like R. Great. Uh, I'm going to turn it down a little bit so um, you can hear me talking over the plugin. I'm going to put the plugin in record. So I'm not going to worry about whatever. I'm just going to play two notes and just show you how this works. So I'm going to record. Okay. So you'll notice if I'm um, playing this back and I'm tweaking the cutoff, um, if I recorded this while I was playing the chord, it still wouldn't record. I don't know why, <laughs> but this is how to make it work. You go here, first of all, and click there. And I just like to see this here. Uh, and then you click this little button here and you say, hey, these are the things in this plugin that I want to automate. So you can you know, select all of them, but you can go down and say, hey, I want attack, release, cutoff, level. Those three things are the things I want to automate. Add it, okay. So um, now what I have to do is, it, it's not recording MIDI. It's recording Pro Tools automation. So you put this in touch, and I just play this back, and I'm going to be turning the cutoff. All right, so let's play it back. And there it is. It is a miracle. It is a miracle. So how do I do this with third-party plugins? So let's take another stereo instrument track. And this time I'm going to grab something like Serum. Um, boom. All right, so here's Serum. We can just use a, um, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So just turn it down a little bit more. So let's say we want to automate the cutoff and the, and the resonance. So I need to turn that on. And OK, cool, it's working. How do I get the knobs on the complete control to control the knobs on the plugin? If I click here on the Pro Tools track, I'm seeing analog dreams on my screen. If I click again back here, you'll notice that the complete control screen changes. This is really crucial, is that your screen reflects what track you have selected. So definitely, this is saying, hey, I'm not a complete control NKS instrument, but I have MIDI features right here. So here's how you do this. So I'm going to go to the cutoff frequency. I'm going to control click or right click. I'm going to say MIDI learn. And now I'm going to turn the knob. And you'll see that this knob is controlling the cutoff. I'm going to do the second knob, MIDI learn, to the knob here. And now we've got the, these, these knobs are controlling this. So the thing is, this doesn't work like the other part we recorded. I'm going to turn this off so we just hear this. I'm going to move serums and I'm going to record. Actually, I'm just going to drag this part down here so we have a note playing. And there's serum. This is recording MIDI, not Pro Tools automation like the other part using the NKS complete control. That requires um, automation to be on. Totally weird. But to record this, we need to record the MIDI. So in your control bar, your transport, there's a button right here, and this is called MIDI Merge. And if you put your mouse over it, it's, it says it. That's saying, hey, when I press record on my MIDI track, it's going to keep what's there, but it's going to add the information. So if I wanted to add another note, so say if I had a kick and a snare playing, I could put on MIDI, MIDI Merge and record a hi-hat part without losing the kick and snare. So what we want to do is keep these two notes playing so we can record the cutoff and the resonance. So this is where MIDI Merge does need to be on. Most of the time, though, this is off because I do want to overwrite my recordings. So it's important that after you use this, you know to turn this off. 
but right now we need it on because we want to keep the notes and record the cutoff and resonance while the notes are remaining on the track. So I'm going to hit record and then I'm going to start turning the knobs. Bam. All right. So now if I play it back, here we go. Boom. I hope this helps somebody and please post any questions below.